Hey, what's up, Vogue? This is Troy Sivan. Almost every day I get my hair and makeup done, but some days I don't. And on those days, I've like slowly but surely half asked my way into like a beauty routine where I do my own makeup. You've got to moisturize. I use just like a set of film moisturizing lotion. So I use their like um, cleanser, their moisturizing lotion, everything. And I know I'm not supposed to like do this. My boyfriend gets mad at me, but whatever. Get it all over your face and your neck. Makes you look a little like red and flush. If I'm feeling glam and dry, I fly a lot. I travel by bus because I'm on tour right now. So I need plenty of hydration. So I'll use a little bit of rosehip oil. Just like, maybe like one or two drops. Very, very minimal. Just like get it all over your hand and kind of gently pat it on. I like looking dewy and I feel like this aids with that. Kind of makes you look a little greasy, but that's fine. For hair, I have curly hair. Every time I wet my hair, it's a whole big mission to get it to dry the way that I want it to dry. So what I do is I bought one of these off Amazon. It's just like a misting bottle that mists anything. Um, and I just put water in it and then do like the lightest misting so that you get the like freshness of the curls. You get to kind of like bring your hair back to life a little bit without having to start from scratch. Concealer. I am new to this. Just started doing this a couple months ago. I use the, the Bare Minerals Concealer. So for this, you can see, I actually have like a birthmark here. Um, I have one here, but I don't cover this one. So I'll put like the tiniest little drop under my eyes. And then like maybe two drops there. And then if I have any like pimples or anything, I'll cover them up too. And then sometimes I do like a little around my nose because I get red there. Then I just kind of blend that out with my fingers. Don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I do it anyway. I think you're also supposed to like tap, but that hurts. So why would you do that? I do tap on pimples though. I, out of boredom on tour, watch a lot of cooking videos and I don't cook and makeup videos and I don't do makeup. But um, I don't know, I just find them super relaxing. So that's where I've learned all of my little tricks. I like looking tanned. I look like I'm super, super pale all the time. So any opportunity that I can get to get a little bronzed, I'm into it. Take a big fluffy brush, put it in. And you, everything I do, I want it to look like super chill, hopefully. Like I don't want to look crazy at the end. So just like very lightly dip. And then I'm not trying to like contour or anything like that. I want it all over so that I look just like I just came back from Barbados or something. Now normally, the bronzers that I get are like also matte. So they kind of chill out the rosehip oil oiliness, which is good. You have to get your neck, otherwise you look like you're wearing bronzer. And then also I see people do this, so I do that. Up in your hairline and stuff. You can kind of see I'm getting a little bit less shiny. Okay. Uh-oh. Little brush hair. I get these like brush hairs on my face and I'm never sure if it's like my dog's hair on my face or the brush hair. I just got a dog, everyone. Um, he is one year old. He's like a pit mix with something, I don't know what. Um, and he's my entire world. He's on tour with me right now. He loves the bus, loves touring. Um, his favorite city so far was New Orleans because it has a lot of interesting smells for him. Next up, I would normally do my eyebrows. Now I have like fairly dark eyebrows up to a point, but then they kind of taper off. So I'm gonna use this little Mac eyebrow pencil. So you just wanna do little tiny like hair motions and then know when to stop. Because there are times that I've left the house that I have like caterpillars on my face and I don't realize that I've gone way overboard. Then you just wanna take the little brush spoolie thing and kind of just make sure that you don't have any like actual lines on your face. Use the same brush from before, and to kind of combat any shine that's still left over from the rosehip oil, from keeping our skin so moisturized and healthy, I have this Clinique, just like translucent powder. This is the newest addition to the, to the routine. This made me feel like a fucking beauty guru. Dope. Okay, now the only thing about this is that you start to look a little bit like makeup-y, after a while, which is not my everyday vibe. So, I when I went to Sephora to get a setting spray, which is another thing that I learned about 
in the YouTube videos. I asked them for one that was not super mattifying and they gave me this tart one. It smells good-ish. Um, it has like definitely a scent. Smell review by Troy Sivan. It's like a little bit like sour almost. I don't know, but it works. And then you can see it kind of takes the the powdery bits and turns it back into skin. And now, yeah, you can see it's like, we've got this tanned skin that looks like skin, um, but you just kind of look fresher. I know it might not look like it because I constantly, I bite my lips, but um, I'm obsessed with having moisturized lips. I would like to think that I'm like a connoisseur of sorts of lip balm. And after many years of searching, I've arrived at Vaseline Lip Therapy. It's just like classic, standard, and lasts for a few hours. Last step, this is like very, very new to me, but I'm gonna try and give my cheeks a little bit of color. Sometimes I just get bored and end up like doing fun stuff that I've never done before. So I'm gonna just like apply this on my hand, a little bit on your hand, and then just kind of like take your fingers. Give yourself a little rosy cheek, just cause today's a special day. This cheek is rosier than this cheek. Let me use this. This is my one and done trusty brush, use it for everything. Ta-da, all finished. That is how I get ready when I have no one else to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching Vogue. See you soon, bye.